little solar eclipse that we've been waiting on is almost here. Now, solar eclipses aren't rare. In fact, two are visible somewhere on the globe every three years. What's rare is ha to have this total solar eclipse visible here in Indiana and Michigan, and it won't happen again until 2099. That's why we're so excited about this. So a solar eclipse happens when the moon crosses between the Earth and the sun, blocking the sun from our view. Now, the Earth actually ends up in the moon's shadow, and in the center of of that shadow, the moon and the sun line up perfectly so that the moon blocks, completely blocks the sunlight uh, for about three or four minutes, and that makes it appear like dusk or dawn. Uh, now, this can only happen because the sun and the moon have the same angular size. And what I mean by that is we know the sun is bigger than the moon. It's about 400 times wider than the moon, but it's also about 400 times farther away. So what that means is they look like they're the same size in our sky. And then when the moon crosses in front of the sun, we get an eclipse. Now for us, the moon and the sun don't perfectly line up. We will see a little sliver of light here. This is why we cannot look at the eclipse without special glasses on. You'll damage your eyes. The only people who can look at the eclipse without special glasses will be in, in the path of totality and only during the peak of the eclipse. Otherwise, you're going to see enough light to damage the eye. So that path of totality it is near us. I mean, we're not in it here locally, but it does go through Indiana and Ohio. It's still about 100 miles away. You have to drive to the south side, southeast side of Fort Wayne, down to Marion, south side of Kokomo, Indianapolis. That's going to be the path of totality. That's where the moon and the sun will line up perfectly, uh, and that will last for about three to four minutes where it's perfectly lined up. Now, locally, here's how it plays out here. The start of the eclipse is at 1:53 on Monday on April 8th. We're looking at that. The peak is at 309 and then it ends at 423. So from beginning to end, the eclipse is only about two and a half hours long. Now all we need to work on are clear skies for viewing. And of course, we're monitoring the cloud forecast for Monday. You can see that on WSBT.com or on our Storm Alert weather app.